What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program, and we're going to show you this suspension system and this new mod I've been working with. It's called Skid, and Skid is basically a round spherical grip pad that you snap onto a rotor, and it allows you to have an inflatable or deflatable wheel so you can roll around in and it can compress for storage or it can inflate so you can roll over larger items so i have it currently mapped out to a cow so you can see here it can inflate you can just set the position you want it to be and it'll just hold that for you so it's kind of like some of the swamp vessels that we have in real life and how you're able to inflate or deflate the tires of course, they don't have this particular design, I don't know, but <laughs> I'll make one that's more realistic later. We'll worry about that later. But the suspension system is actually stock. I built that using a GP004 grip pad and then surface mounting it to the rover body uh, and then mounting all the suspension systems and the wheel systems to that GP004 grip pad. And that is what is absorbing most of the most of the impact that you're seeing going on here. So we're just gonna go a nice slow rove over everything at first, so you can see how well this does. We're gonna if we increase the inflation size, it will roll over most obstacles without any trouble. And here you'll see the suspension system allowing for free travel. For each of these four wheels independently so this allows us to be able to attack most of the obstacles and keep at least a wheel on the ground to be able to roll over things and you can kind of see it a little better as we go over this flagpole mount here how each one is staying in contact mostly with the ground each wheel does have a bit of ore that it can be used for weighting the wheel down and each of these, you can think of the wheel as a series of toughened rubberized uh, tubes that you can fill with ore. I suppose, if you would like, if it makes a bit more sense to you. So then we can just kind of show how this thing really can pick up speed, rove around, and why, why you should use something like this. So the suspension system is handling it fantastically. You can see it bouncing all around and yet it's not transferring too much of that back to our Kerbals in the cockpit who are pretty happy with this situation. So let's go ahead and go to our testing ground. I like to go to the crawler way. So that way I can roll over it at high speeds to see if the craft is going to flip over or not. So if I go to the moon, if I go to Minmus, if I go to Duna, I don't have to worry about it not being tested enough and it rolling over on me. That is kind of the worst case scenario. So let's go ahead and increase our wheel size. You can see it just rolls right over those like they're nothing. And it does use tank steering. So I have the brakes set for all the rotors to zero 05. I believe it's, I have them all set to five. And that allows me to actually use the braking system, like you see here, to actually turn the vessel without eating up power that I would need if I were to use torque to turn the vessel. Now, there's a little oddities I've noticed when you're looking into the rear of the rover body, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go <laughs> go over this. Let's go over this. We're going to inflate our wheels all the way up here. So we're currently at 2.5 size for these wheels. And you see here, it is massive. It's huge. And this is basically what's going to allow you to go right over any obstacle like this without having to use any ramps. It just rolls right over it. And this is going to eliminate a lot of the troubles that we have going up and around things. Now, these wheels also use the same exact uh, configuration code that is used for grip pads, so you can set it from medium to high to extreme grip. Uh, it, there is a little trick to it because there's a lot of errors it was throwing, but we managed to get that all worked out in the long run. So we're going to have to deflate these a bit because you don't want to be super large if you're going over a really high obstacle. You're going to want to keep your mass low to the ground. 
So you can deflate these and then you can move right over a sharp angle. Or you can try to. <laughs> and you see right there, it's able to do it. It's able to hug the curves. It's able to go right over it. And then since it extends so far out, it bounces you right back. And you have a nice little tank steer to roll right over things again. I'm just going to do it this time at a smaller diameter. Just to show off that suspension capabilities there. So let's up that a little bit more. And just roll over these ones. This one has a bit more tough of a collider to get through. So what can this thing really do? Well, let's go ahead and show you some of what this craft can really do with these wheels and this suspension setup. We're going to roll over a mountain. We're going to roll right over a mountain just for craps and giggles. So stay tuned and let me show you what this thing can really do. Yes! 